Hello, my friends. Welcome back to your meditation practice. My name is B, and I'll be leading you through practice today. If you've spent the past few weeks with us here on YouTube, you know that we've been spending a lot of time focusing on focusing the mind. We've been trying different techniques such as counting the breath, labeling the breath, opening our senses, strengthening our awareness. And in this last week, we will conclude this little mini series of focusing our attention on the breath. Now, before we jump in, I wanted to open our practice today with a quote from Pema Chodron. When I first got into yoga and meditation, I went in with the idea that I had all these things to change, all these things to fix. And it wasn't until I really fully immersed myself in the practice that I was able to see the teachings of the practice are to come as you are and that you are good enough exactly as you are. There's nothing to change. So without further ado, this passage from Pema Chodron is titled, We Already Have Everything. We already have everything we need. There is no need for self-improvement. All these trips that we lay on ourselves, the heavy-duty fearing that we're bad and hoping we're good, the identities that we so dearly cling to, the rage, the jealousy, and the addictions of all kinds never touch our basic wealth. They are like clouds that temporarily block the sun, but all the time our warmth and brilliance are right here. This is who we really are. We are one blink of an eye away from being fully awake. Looking at ourselves this way is very different from our usual habit. From this perspective, we don't need to change. You can feel as wretched as you like, and you're still a good candidate for enlightenment. You can feel like the world's most hopeless basket case, but that feeling is your wealth, not something to be thrown out or improved upon. <sighs> wise, wise words. And I hope that you can really kick off this practice with this concept that you yourself right here are already enough. In our practice today, we will be focusing on the space between each cycle of breath. So maybe you know this, maybe not, but there is this small gap. Sometimes it's long, sometimes it's super short in between each cycle of breath. So you can think inhale, exhale, that's one cycle, there's the space, and then we begin again. So you might label the space as space, you might just notice what it holds, but that will be where we focus our attention today. So if you'll join me in a comfortable seat, you can sit up with your legs loosely crossed in front of you or tucked sitting up in a way that feels comfortable, but also supportive. The hands can rest down on the thighs somewhere between the knees and the hips, soft bend in the elbows. And feel your seat get really heavy here. The crown of your head lifts up toward the sky, so there's this sense of opposition, heaviness in the seat, upliftedness in the spine, and then finally openness in the heart, shoulders draw back, heart pokes forward. If you notice any straining in the upper back, see if you can really adjust and relax through the shoulders. If you notice any initial tension in the body, just cast 
gradually, gently releasing it as best you can. And if you need to come back and release that same tension at any point during practice, you can. And then from here, you can choose to either keep the eyes open or close them. If your eyes stay open, gaze will be cast down just a few feet in front of you. And the gaze will be soft and hazy, almost as if you're trying to look through the floor. Breathing here happens automatically without any resistance or control. We just start to tune into the natural flow of your body breathing. And right away, you might just notice when you're breathing in and when you're breathing out. And as you start to get more and more curious about your breath, you might also start to notice that small space in between each cycle of breath. As you get more and more curious about the breath, and as you start to get more and more curious about your breath, you might even start to notice that small space in between the exhale and the start of the next inhale. space continues to be there. Watch as your body knows exactly what to do in between each cycle of breath. When that cycle of breath ends, there's that space. And your body knows exactly when and how to breathe in again. So we sit here in silence for the next few moments, observing the body as it does its job. this point you notice the mind has wandered off no big deal as gently as possible can you start to return back to the breath when you're ready following the breath in noticing the breath out and then observing that space in between each cycle of breath
just taking some time to give yourself credit. Expressing a bit of gratitude for yourself for showing up today and taking care of yourself in this way. And then when you're ready to officially come out of practice, you can open your eyes or raise your gaze and drop the technique. Amazing job, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up today. If you are interested in deepening your yoga and meditation practice with the support of a community, join the next challenge, the Move For Your Mind Challenge, which officially kicks off May 23rd. This will be a four week challenge filled with live and recorded yoga and meditation classes. We'd love to have you there. I will link the information below, check it out. I look forward to seeing you all very soon.